thanks for watching the CXO Academy video. Today we'll be showing a general overview of CXO software and some of the more basic functions within our system. So CXO is a web-based application. Um, it, the screen can look somewhat like this. Of course, uh, it's customizable to, to a customer's needs. Uh, we'll go ahead and log in now. The way CXO is laid out, uh, as you see at the top, uh, our logo or the company's logo, and then you see menu items right underneath there. So menu items is just uh, a collection of reports uh, kind of laid out to, to find them a little easier. Uh, in this case, we have an executive summary section. Even within there, we can have a uh, further folder P&L section where you you know you can actually type in this uh, menu items uh, any you know in this case profit, uh, but we can escape. And so it shows a, a screenshot for you to find reports easier. Uh, otherwise, within the actual report uh, is underneath there. Uh, you see the report title, and then you see what we call our point of view. Our point of view are uh, dimensions that we can toggle between. In this case, we have the year 2017 September. Uh, I can go ahead and switch it to September uh, or August 17th. And you see now my reports change accordingly. These uh, can be applied as you'd like. So you can have all your dimensions on here or you can limit it to, of course, only a couple that are more relevant. Uh, and you can limit it to, to having none as well, of course. Uh, it all depends on what, what the user should be seeing. But within there, uh, within CXO, we have what we call our standard templates. And those are uh, reports that you can quickly populate with by, using, by reusing uh, some of the elements. But we also have what we call free format templates. So the, the way templates or free form reports are laid out, is if you see here, uh, we've added some tiles. So we have six tiles going across, each one for each account. And you see here the tile has the, the actual variance to the, to the budget. And then you have a relative variance, an absolute variance, and then you have a trend. Uh, furthermore, we have a table down below it where we have some uh, accounts on the rows. And then we have uh, the year and actual birth budget on the columns. So in this case, we have net sales selected, um, but we can also, you know, uh, click on direct cost as you see there. Uh, click on different items, and the further tables uh, also update. But we can also drill down, for example, on direct cost, total compensation. We'll drill down, so that's possible. And then once you you select another line, as you saw there, so we can go ahead and select profit, as you see there. We have an extra or additional breakdown on the right hand side. Uh, in this case, net profit is what we've selected and is what you see here on the right. And the additional breakdown is by entity. So in this case, I can drill down, for example, into the Asia uh, entity. And I see there China, Singapore, Japan, in this case, United States, East, West region. But if I now select the uh, direct cause, for example, then I have direct cause broken down by entity right away. Uh, down below that, I also have a trend for the last 12 months. This is also dynamic. If you see here, I have uh, August uh, selected, but if I select September again, September 17, then I see September and the uh, rolling 12 months prior to that. So that's the way CXO is laid out. The reports may look a little different, but they're always within this frame here where you see the title, the point of view, and then the frame down below it. Well, we also have things like uh, commentary. So we go over that in another video, but that's uh, usually down below, can be set in another, um, in a, you know, resize and such, but usually it's down below. Uh, furthermore, if uh, we have icons here at the top right uh, to go home, of course, to refresh, we have a storyboard section. So with the star, you with the star icon, you can add a, any view to, to a storyboard. And then here with the S icon, we can maintain storyboards, uh, which we also talk about in another video. Uh, you can start a conversation anytime by selecting the conversation icon or lock and unlock commentary and also the print functionality. So at any time with uh, in any report, you're able to come here and print 
this page either to a PDF, PowerPoint, or Excel. As you see here, I'll, I'll export this to a PDF. Uh, I can set the, of course, the orientation and, and scaling and print right away. If you need to check back on your print jobs, uh, say, as you see here, the status is submitted. But say that you close out, uh, you come back to that, you can check export jobs as well. If you have uh, admin rights uh, within CXO, uh, you see here at the top our logo, you see the, the profile picture and the, the user uh, actions panel where you can edit your profile, uh, search for conversations, uh, notifications. Uh, regular users are able to see up to here, but if you have admin rights, uh, you see an extra link called CXO Designer, and that is where we go to perform uh, most of our, uh, most if not all the functional administrator tasks, uh, including building reports, uh, managing users, uh, user groups, uh, and general uh, system settings. So overall, uh, this is how CXO is laid out. It is uh, web-based, so it can be uh, used in any browser. And uh, we have extra additional videos going over, over uh, detailed functionality, of course. Thanks for watching the CXO Academy video.